Do you feel lazy to study? Do you feel like you've procrastinated for the whole day and there's no point in continuing? Me too. So it is currently 12.10 p.m. and I just kind of woke up. I am still in my bed, so I actually planned to wake up earlier today, but I just kept snoozing the alarm. And it is late November, which means that winter is coming up. The sky and the trees, they all look so gray, gloomy, and depressing. Like, just the fact that the sun sets at about 5 p.m., it just makes me so unmotivated. It makes me think that if the sun is down, then I'm down too. So the very first thing we should do is to make our bed because no matter how late we wake up, if we're able to make our bed, then that shows that we are capable to do one small task of the day. As someone who is born in a tropical country, I really am not used to this whole winter thing, this whole the sky being so gray and gloomy every day and the sun setting at 5 p.m. And next, I'm going to wash my face and brush my teeth because I literally just got out of bed. Like, yeah, it is that bad. It is past noon, but I spent all morning scrolling. The next thing to do is definitely to hydrate and drink some water because sometimes you just forget. Okay, I am actually so excited right now because I just got a text from a friend that apparently the libraries are open and the coffee place that I go to is also open because you know right now we're at Thanksgiving break so for the past three days or so it is all closed so the only places I can study is either in my dorm or in my dorm lounge and those are not really ideal places to study. So last night, I ended up learning a new melody in my ukulele instead of studying. There's that. Okay, I'm gonna do my skincare and chat with y'all a little bit. So I know that it has been difficult for me to get up and be productive. Especially during this five-day Thanksgiving break. I'm just mostly staying in my dorm because I'm international, which means that it would be too expensive to go back home for a short Thanksgiving break. My family don't even celebrate Thanksgiving anyway, so... Yeah, I had fun, I hung out with a few friends, and I cooked a simple meal with them. But I haven't really done much studying, and that makes me concerned because finals are coming up real soon. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna prove that despite being so lazy over the past four days and the past morning today, I can still spring up and be productive. So without further ado, I immediately just pulled out my laptop and opened my math homework. I think the reason why all of us, me included, feel so lazy is because we over-exaggerate the amount of tasks that we need to do in our heads, but actually, once you start doing it, it's actually not that bad at all. Don't believe me? Why don't you try for yourself? My advice, set a timer for 10 minutes and just do whatever work you have to do within that 10 minutes. I promise you that 90% of the chance you will most likely want to do more than just 10 minutes. Or even if not, you still get something done within 10 minutes. Better than nothing. And also, not so funny story, but the website for my math homework crashed, which means that I could only do it over the PDF version, which means that I have to still input my answers into the website tomorrow when it hopefully doesn't crash anymore. Just some super important background information. I'm just your average college freshman. I am not super smart or anything. I am just a procrastinator, just like you. Hopefully not like you. Hopefully you're not a procrastinator like me, actually. It has been an hour of studying. I feel like I deserve to reward myself with something, so here it is. <sighs> I just made myself this hot dark chocolate. I am like literally freezing right now, so this warmth really helps me. Uh, life feels so much better after finishing that hot chocolate. And I'm done with like half of my math homework. I know that's like not a lot, but this is something better than nothing. So after that first study session, I went out of my dorm to get some food at the student center. 
Oh my god, it's so cold. Y'all, I swear the weather is not weathering. <laughs> Another thing to do when you're stuck in a rut is to just take a walk. Like me right now, I'm walking around campus despite it being... Just a few feet away, and here I am at the student center, yay! Also, it's Sunday, so literally the only thing that's open is Pandas Express, so I got this. Noodles and orange chicken. Oh my god, do you see that guy? He's walking with a t-shirt in a 10 degree- I mean, sorry, I'm not American. 50 degree weather? Just how? Wow. Even I with double jackets, my hands are freezing. But let me just enjoy this pandas. Unboxing the Panda Express fortune cookie. People gravitate towards your winsome personality. What does winsome mean? Hot latte. It's 5 p.m. and I just took a power nap for about 40 minutes. Let me just tell you that power naps are underrated. I swear, napping on the table right before your next study session is really helpful for me. The trick is you should not nap on your bed. You should only nap in an uncomfortable position. Only by then will you not fall into a deep sleep for like 4 hours. You can start with setting an alarm for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then when the alarm rings, you wake up. You can't really see clearly, but it's raining outside, and I've been like scrolling sort of for the past hour or so. So I guess I'll record another study time lapse. Yes, recording a time lapse of you studying. This is also an underrated tip. I've been doing this since high school, and it honestly like pushes me to actually study because I don't want to look back at the time lapse and see myself scrolling. That would be really embarrassing. And you feel that small sense of accomplishment and satisfaction when you look back at the time lapse and see that, boom, you've actually studied. You've actually done the hard deed. Yup, that's how I'm feeling right now as I'm editing this video. Also, why do I have a southern accent? I finished my English essay, so I'm rewarding myself with drawing. It is past midnight, yay, I survived the day. I have showered and I'm getting ready for bed. So, I think I have done two out of the three tasks in my to-do list today, but it's okay because none of them are due tonight or tomorrow exactly, so it's fine. So yeah, this morning I was really lazy, just crawling in my phone on bed for two hours, but it turns out that despite waking up really late and lazing around all morning, I can flip the day and be quite productive. So here's some motivation for you. If you are lazy and if you think that you've wasted the day, no, you still have a few more hours to go. I am sure that you as well can flip the day from unproductive to accomplished.